hey guys this is joy i am back again with another video welcome welcome to the channel all right so i am going to be doing the messages for which sign do i want to do next we did pisces we did taurus already we did virgo let's do cancer let's do cancer sun moon rising and venus whoops what are the messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last half of April? We're going to start off with the Romance Angels for Cancer. I'm kind of changing up the way that I do my readings. So I do appreciate you guys for understanding. <laughs> Alright, and if this is you guys' first time tuning in, my name is Joy. I am a coach for narcissistic abuse and I am also a love oracle and a tarot reader. Alright, so somebody could be needing to release an ex. This could be you guys. You could be separated from an ex-person, an ex-partner, ex-friend. Alright. If you guys would like to get a personal or a private reading, that information is in the description box. If you would like to get a extended reading that information is in the um description box as well as i do emergency readings all right those would be sent out same day once i receive your payment so someone could be dealing with a soulmate that's like an unrequited situation this could be you or it could be a person that you're dealing with I am doing a competition for a one to three question read giveaway at the end of the month. I'm choosing a winner. So good luck to everyone that has already entered. And thank you to you guys that have gotten extended readings, personal and private readings. And thank you to those that have left donations. Thank you so much, you guys. It means a lot. I really, really, truly appreciate it. Thank you for supporting my channel full time. Thank you so much. All right. So let's see. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, so we got Healing Family Issues. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Pisces. So this is the few of the cards that I got in the Pisces read. I'm sorry, in the, uh, yeah, Pisces reading. <sighs> Cancer, are you dealing with some deception too? new love so cancer you might be dealing with some deception as well i'll show you the cards we got attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully we got heart to heart conversation honestly discuss your feelings with each other we got yes this is your soulmate and we got deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship so let's take a look here. Something could be hidden. Somebody could be coming back, coming back around maybe to tell you something, but it could be for selfish reasons. It could be a soulmate, but it might not be, you know, as authentic as you would like it to be. Somebody could be wanting to come back and ask for a second chance. Maybe because they feel like they've invested so much into a relationship. Or this could be you, Cancer. Take it as it resonates. Or this could be for the cross watcher. The Cancer might be doing this to you. Or you're doing this to a Cancer. Let's see here. Yeah, somebody walked away from a relationship. Something that they invested in. Or they're going to do this towards the end of the month. Or somebody could have been hiding just how they feel. This could be, this doesn't mean that somebody is like cheating or lying or just, well, not saying how you feel. Yes, yeah, technically not telling the truth. But somebody could have just been holding back on how they really felt. Like emotionally, not really telling you how they, how much they love you and how much they're attracted to you and how much, you know, you guys make a good team. But somebody walked away with the Eight of Cups. Or they had to walk away from something else. Why is attraction here for a cancer? 
All right, so we got the Knight of Coins in the reverse and the Ten of Staffs in the reverse. So the Ten of Wands. So someone is letting go of a burden here. It could be, you know, a financial burden or, you know, an investment. Something that somebody invested in. I feel like they're letting it go. Or somebody doesn't want someone to be single. Somebody could be watching you and they're like, I don't want the cancer to be single. Like, they want to, like, wife you up or, you know, you know, be with you. Or, you know, they want you to be their husband, something like that, depending on who's watching this. And also, I'm seeing, like, whatever could have happened, there could have been some deception where somebody could have been holding back their emotions and their feelings. I'm getting that a lot of you guys could have overcame a situation where somebody just would not open up. They wouldn't tell you, you know, how much you make them, how happy you make them feel or how they love you or how they see you as everything. And by maybe you guys, you're single doing you, you're attracting this person back into your life because it's like you're focusing on yourself. By and you enjoying this moment fully by you focusing on your life, your goals, your dreams. You know, this person is coming back around. But let's see. Why is attraction here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Why is attraction here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Why is attraction here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Yeah, somebody's watching you. With the page of swords here they're, they're gathering information on you maybe they're seeing that you know you're really enjoying your life and you're focusing on you you're doing really good for yourself and they're like how is this person doing this like you know they might be wanting to come in and you know start an argument or like gossip or something like that but somebody is like wanting to speak some sort of truth to you uh why is this heart to heart conversations here why is heart to heart conversations here yeah, the two of cups in the reverse because there was a breakup. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There was a breakup or an ending, I see. But it, again, I feel like it was a soulmate. But just maybe two people wasn't collaborating well with each other. Or just wasn't seeing eye to eye. Why is heart to heart conversations here? Why is heart to heart conversations here? Why is heart to heart conversations here? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for giving me a message for the Cancers. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What message is here? I need one to come out, y'all. Okay. See the Queen of Coins in the reverse. So somebody could have not been, you know, speaking on how they feel. Maybe about a mother figure. Maybe a mother figure could have been, you know, interfering in a, a connection or a relationship or some of you cancers, you know, you were needing to um, level up in some sort of way, you know, or maybe, um, you know, get back on your feet, get your shit together, excuse my language, but like, you know, really um, express how you feel about a relationship or about your stability or somebody could have appeared to be, have been stable but they're really not there's some sort of heart to heart conversation that's going to be had this could involve a, a Taurus Virgo a Capricorn as well or this could have been someone's family member trying to get involved in a relationship or a connection or even a friendship Give me one more card for heart to heart conversations. Yeah, somebody could be wanting a new opportunity with you with the ace of coins or somebody is receiving a new opportunity after a breakup or a chance to renew a, 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 a connection. Why is the soulmate card here? Yes, this is your soulmate. Why is the soulmate card here? Yeah, there was an ending due to some sort of deception. The death card and the seven of swords. So somebody could have deceived their soulmate. And that caused the ending. Give me one more for soulmate. Give me one more for soulmate. Yeah, now somebody wants to speak their truth here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What was the Seven of Swords about, Spirit, please? What was the Seven of Swords about? 
Yeah, something was illuminated, maybe about a partnership or something uh, made someone happy. But something became clear. There, Somebody could have been with a soulmate, but still dealing with another foundation with the Ten of Coins in a reverse. Uh, maybe it was a lack situation. Somebody could have been trying to be, have been sneaky, was maybe doing something behind the scenes. And now so, that ended, I see. And someone else is realizing this. And now they're waiting for a new opportunity or you're waiting for a new opportunity. But there's going to be some sort of truth that's spoken here. Somebody's going to be speaking up about a foundation why is deception here for cancer sun moon rising and venus why is the deception here yeah because somebody could have been defensive or somebody could have been you know blocking something out or somebody stood up for what what it was that they were you know fighting for or they were needing to fight off a deception or fight off, you know. Somebody could have been fighting their feelings for you. Like holding back. Or pushing you away or something. Trying to make it seem like they didn't care about you, but they really did. Why else, does, why else is this deception card here? Yeah, because... Somebody could have went... Somebody could have, um, you know, maybe reconciled with somebody from their past. We got the Six of Cups in the reverse and the Knight of Staffs in the reverse. So with the Six of Cups, like in the upright, it's about, you know, reconciling, you know, fantasizing um, the past, romanticizing the past, um, having fond memories. And now I feel like somebody is not doing that. And with the Knight of Staffs, I feel like somebody's giving up. Somebody's giving up on the past, I feel like. But they could have been deceptive and was trying to make it seem like they was into the past, but they really wasn't. Give me one more for this deception card. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away from the past or walking away from deception. Somebody's standing firm. Like, somebody's standing their ground. You could, you guys could be dealing with the Aries. It's kind of a similar reading. But, um... Somebody's not looking back. They're walking away. Yeah, because something was unfair. I don't really think this needs an extended, to be honest. I think it's kind of clear-cut dry. I feel like... Actually, no. What we could do is... We can see how this heart-to-heart -heart conversation is going to go. That's what I would say. We could look at that in the extended. We're going to see what this person is going to say to you. Because I, I feel like somebody has their guard up. Somebody is like standing their ground. Somebody walked away. And they're not looking back. You're Like, Cancer, you're not looking back. You're, you're getting... You're moving on to like something serious like you want a serious connection let's get some um fortune for the cancers yeah we can see like how this heart-to-heart -heart conversation is gonna go and we can see also too you know exactly we could dig deeper to see what caused this ending what caused someone to walk away You know, with the Eight of Cups. And what is, yeah, we can look and see what is this truth that's going to be spoken in this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I feel like somebody has something to say to you. Like somebody is spying on you, I'm feeling. Heavy spying. Because somebody sees that you're doing well without them. Okay, so let's see. What are some fortune here? I see a 444 four, four on the clock.
with some fortune here. So this could be a couple. So you could be at a distance from maybe your counterpart, distant horizon. We got gift. We got jurisdiction. We got unexpected income. We have mature man and mature woman. So I feel like this could this deception could have involved a couple. But somebody wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. It could involve a marriage or a legal situation. But I feel like somebody could be wanting to give you something. There's a gift. Or maybe this whole situation was a lesson for you to learn. And now you're going to be gaining something out of this. Whatever this was. Let's get one more. I'm being nosy. What else is going on? We're also going to see what advice... Um, can we get from spirit in the universe? We're going to get some moonology cards as well as some psychic tarot. Some energy oracle cards as well. Yes, yeah, somebody's going to be getting great fortune. Somebody's like coming up. Yeah, but there was a false person here in the mix. So, yeah, let's follow me over to the extended, you guys, and we're going to see. Um, what is this truth that's going to be spoken? Um, what is somebody walking away from? And what is, exactly is this person? They're going. They have. They're having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. We're going to see what they're going to say. They have something to tell you because they're watching you. They might not be hitting you up or messaging you, but they're definitely watching. You. All right. So follow me over there, Cancer. I will see you in May. Bye.